Hey everybody, Alan Ward here from bloggerbusinessplan.com. Welcome to the weekly wrap uh, for the 3rd of June, 2011. A few things I wanna run through today, but um, in particular today's focus is on Twitter and some Twitter tools I've been looking at this last week. First one I wanna to talk to you about is a site called Twins, um, T-W-I-E-N-D-S dot com. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. I'm assuming it's a bit of a play on words for Twitter and friends. Um, I'm gonna do a full blog post on this over the next week. So if you're watching this via the Twins website um, and you're trying to build up your seeds or whatever, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, head over to the bloggerbusinessplan.com website, bookmark it, subscribe, because there'll be a post coming out over the next week that you won't wanna miss because it'll help you um, understand how to use it a whole lot better. But quite simply, Twins, what it is, it calls itself the number one place to grow your social network. What it's trying to do um, is you register using your Twitter ID um, or your Facebook or whatever, and it's a way you can find like-minded people. Um, you like someone's Facebook page, and in return for that, you, you gain their currency called seed. So you might get three seeds for liking that page. You may in turn um, say to people, if you follow me on Twitter, um, I will give you two seeds. So you follow a few pages on Facebook or follow some people on Twitter and build up your seed bank. Um, and people then take your seeds out of your seed bank by doing things for you. So watching videos, um, liking your Facebook page or following you on Twitter. Um, I've been using it a little bit for a week. There are some strategies to think about. So as I said, if you're watching this um, via Twins, go to the website bloggerbusinessplan.com and there'll be a post coming up later this week for it. Um, a couple of other Twitter tools, there's one I've looked at called Triber, so T-R-I-B-E-R-R.com, and essentially in Triber what it's about is getting together with a tribe of like-minded people. Um, so you may be in a tribe with other bloggers or other people that are into certain sports or whatever. Um, the idea is that you, um, it automatically retweets your posts. So um, you do a blog post rather than you just promoting it, there's a bunch of other people in your tribe who will automatically retweet that post for you. Um, I have only looked at this, I haven't signed up or anything yet, so if anyone's got an experience, leave a note, let me know what you think about it. Um, another one I discovered this week is called Twiriod, um, T-W-E-R-I-O-D.com. Twiriod, what it does is you enter in your Twitter ID and it will provide an analysis for you in particular, what you're looking at is um, when your followers are online. Now, I live in Australia, so generally I'm asleep when most of my Twitter followers are online. So um, I've been interested in finding out, well, when are the majority of them online? Because if I'm gonna schedule tweets, as I do sometimes to promote blog posts or you know YouTube pages, whatever, um, there's no point tweeting when most of my followers are in bed. So the times that I'm able to tweet live, a lot of my followers aren't around. So what Twiri's done is helped me understand um, when most of my followers are online, which funnily enough is generally um, you know, their day, my night. So when I'm well and truly tucked up in bed here in Australia, a lot of my followers are online. So it's helped me learn a bit more about scheduling tweets and, and so on. Um, the other one I wanna talk about is a site called followfridayhelper.com which is a pretty cool little site. Um, you go into Follow Friday Helper, you hook it up to your Twitter ID, and what it does is um, it will show you who's been look, retweeting you, who's mentioned you, who have you interacted with this week, and so on. So when it comes time for Follow Friday, um, it's very easy to select names of people on the screen who you've interacted with in the past where you can think, yeah, I had a good talk with them on Twitter, I'll add them and recommend them to my followers. Um, and it's not just for follow followers, it's really anything. If you wanna just look and analyze who's been retweeting you, who could I promote on Twitter, um, it's a place to do it. Um, so that's my Twitter um, overview. I said I'll probably do more in-depth blog posts on some of these over the next couple of weeks, but for now, look, they're out there. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, head over to bloggerbusinessplan.com, just do a search for this episode and all the links will be there, so it's easy to click through and so on. Um, last thing I wanna talk about 
is one of the things that frustrates me in internet marketing is the aspect of pricing. And you don't really see this in business. I mean, how many times have you gone to a reputable store that says, oh look, we've got this, um, this TV here. And um, look, it, it, it's really worth $5,000. But today, today only, we're gonna sell this TV with all the bits that's bundled with it for only $97 or $47. Just doesn't happen. But in the internet marketing world, it seems to happen all the time. And I was just frustrated this week. I, there was some offer that came through on the email. And I clicked through and had a look at it. Um, you know, and they got the product. They've got, look, we'll put this bonus in and this bonus and this extra bit. And all together, all these things are worth over $7,000. Um, but today, and for the next couple of days only, we're gonna sell all this package for $47. Now, to me, that just cheapens the deal. I mean, to me, there's two ways you can look at it. You think, mate, if it's worth $7,000, sell it for $7,000. Um, simply because that's, that's what it should be worth. Or the flip side, you think, you know, it's not really worth $7,000. It's actually probably only worth $47. Um, and possibly isn't even worth that. So I just wanna challenge you, if you're in, in marketing at all, or selling on the internet, to really think carefully about how you price your product. Think in terms of the value that you're creating for um, the person who's buying your product. And rather than just think, oh, I've got an ebook, everyone else's ebook sells for $37, so I'll sell mine for that. Think about what it does for the person that's buying it. How much value are you creating? Because you could be creating thousands of dollars of value. And so for those people, maybe what you've got is worth a lot more than just $37 or $47. That's my rant over. Um, just to say I'm sick of it. I see a lot of internet marketing and I'm really sick of it. You know, work out what your product's worth and sell it for that. Be honest with, with your people. Um, because you know what? That product will probably never sell for $7,000. It'll always sell around the $47 mark, you know. Just drives me nuts. That's enough of the rant. Thanks for watching the weekly wrap. You can find out more at bloggerbusinessplan.com. I'm Alan Ward. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.